Good morning, everybody. I'm back with my Senate today, and uh, today I'm going to another, uh, I guess, niche, a North American niche one, and this is Happy Land Shameless. And, uh, you know, I just picked this out this morning. It was a, I, I've had it for about a week. Uh, it's a summer one or a freshie uh, from Happy Land. Uh, I know uh, one of the reviewers that, uh, that features Happy Land a lot and, uh, and like blues, uh, this is probably that person's favorite. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of other people that do that, that Happy Land. Um, and I, I decided to wear this today. Actually, I was on one of a Facebook group I belong to and a friend named uh, Richie Trey uh, Burnett. I think it's Burnett or Barnett. I think it's Burnett. Uh, he was wearing uh, Blue, Mr. Blueberry Indigo and talking about that. And previous in the week, he had wore that Aqua Essential Blue. And so we had a little chat for him about those two things. And today he was mentioning, you know, that when he wears stuff like that, those blues, they all seem similar. And, uh, and he may be going into uh, looking for some niche, niche, or niche brands. And, his, you know, his, he wants different things. Um, so anyway, this, this, is a, this is a niche brand of a, of a blue, I think. You know, I, I put it on. Uh, I wore it this morning. I put it on, walked for a bit. And then I came home and showered after my walk and put it on again. And, uh, and both times, Mrs. Mrs. Fritz smelled it as I initially put it on, and she smelled it afterwards and all that. Uh, this time, after the shower, when I put it on and I was going upstairs to get some stuff to make the video, uh, I, I said, how do I smell? And, uh, and this was her response. Oh, that smells so good. It makes me just want to hug you. And remember, she likes Sauvage. I'm not saying this smells like Sauvage, but... It smells like that type of blue, you know. For me, blue is can be many things. Uh, the you know the initial blue you think of when you think of Sauvage or Dylan Blue is that shower gel uh, sort of Ambroxan Bomb blue, and that this could smell like that. This could be in that vein. Um, and then other blues I think of are uh, you know more aquatics and ozonic, and they're a lot lighter, like light blue or. Uh, you know, there's a couple of them, Nautica, Nautica Voids. I think of those as blues, even though others may not. They may think of just Sauvage, just Blue de Chanel, just Dylan Blue. Uh, so I have a list. Actually, I, have a li I do have like nine of them up top there. They're not a list, but I have my, my nine, you know. And uh, I hope I don't have to look around, but I think, you know, on this side, it's, it's Dylan Blue, then Blue de Chanel, then Sauvage, then Y, then Aqua de, de, de Joe uh, Profumo. And then I think I have Mr. Aqua Essential there. Then I have Mr. Burberry Indigo. And then I have Light Blue. And then I have uh, Tommy Bahama Deep Blue. But those last, you know, they can be interchangeable. There's some other blues I have that, you know, I could put in there. And that's what he meant about, you know, they all have some similar smell. And, and this would go up there if this was, except they're all designer ones. And, and, and this is more of a niche one. You know, this is an independent guy named E.J. Wells. And he has his own studio called Happy Land Studio. And, and so he made this. I don't think he copied any of them. This has different notes. And I'll read the notes on this. Uh, well, I don't know. It, it, has, it, has it has citrus and then it has black currant and apple at the top. And then in the middle, it has florals. Um, it has jasmine and lavender. It has rose, which is unique. And then it has patchouli flower. And that's kind of unique, too. I've never seen that. And then on the bottom, it has that stuff that would make it the sour jelly, too. You know, that, that's common with some of those. You know, it has musk, am, amber, ambergris. Uh, it has oak moss. And it has vanilla. So that gives a good dry down, too. That's, it's really good. You know, it really, it stacks up with them. If he were, if, if, if E.J. Wells was a, you know, a commercial perfumer, and he worked you know, he was selling the different designer houses and he found one of them that didn't have a signature blue and he gave them this. It would be like one of those best sellers like that. It would it would fit in that vein because that's what it is. You know, it's his version of of those, but at an each level. And he has unique notes. That's my opinion. That's not his opinion. That's my opinion. So. Uh, so anyway, that's that's what you know, that's what I'm wearing today. Uh, I really like it. And uh, I will mention this, he has a Facebook group. And, and he also has, a, like I say, he has a lot of YouTube reviewers that market for him, you know, that, that you know, he, he, he looks at and, and, and they, you know, they, they, they do their, their reviews on it. 
And, uh, and a lot of different YouTube reviewers uh, have discount codes. And so if you are interested in, uh, you know, in delving into this small independent like Gallagher, like Happy Land, you know, on some of those sites, but those main reviewers, you know, ones I follow, uh, you can probably find a discount code and get these. I never use a discount. I have never used a discount code yet. I got this as a sample. It was just seven bucks, so it's really good. And I actually believe that, you know, this one is, he prices really well. I think he does a 50 ml. It might be a 30 ml, but it might, I think it's a 50 for like 55 bucks regular. So, you know, I don't think that's too much to spend for somebody that's, you know, in their own studio making their own stuff and, uh, and, and marketing it and shipping it and all that stuff. So for me, you know, I think that's, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty reasonable to pay that much for that. You know, it's, uh, I, I, and anyway, that's my, that's my two takes on it. Uh, but you know, if I had a discount code, I might use it. I, you know, I don't know. So anyway, with that, uh, please pray for peace and uh, please help me be kind. Oh, and I'm going to be gone probably until next Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, periodically, I like to, uh, I like to do a few things. This is for my grandkids. Periodically, I like to stop and uh, sit back and do some, do, do some three things. I like to do some soul searching. I like to level my pride, right? And I like to admit my own shortcomings to myself, and then I can admit them to other people. So, uh, you know, so I'm gonna be trying to do that over this uh, 4th of July weekend here in America. And but besides that, I have company coming too, so I won't be making videos for that reason too. But this would be a good time just to, for me to reflect on uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing here, why I'm doing what I'm doing other, where, other places, and uh, just check those three things, you know, do, do some soul searching in myself, some looking at my own pride, because I, as every other human being, I could sometimes suffer from big shotism, and I can sometimes suffer from low self-esteem, or as I like to say, whale crap at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Isn't that a king of the mountain, whale crap? So I like to get my balance there with my own, my own personal ego. And, uh, and then, and then also look at my own shortcomings, uh, and that helps me not point out other people's shortcomings. Because once you see how many shortcomings I have, I I don't want to point out others. So <laughs> helps me be kind. So anyway, uh, have a nice weekend, and uh, I'll see you Tuesday or Wednesday.